Hey guys, it's Double Bean Billy Boudreaux here, and this entry is my reactions to the New Orleans Saints losing to the Baltimore Ravens 30 to 24 today. Now, with that being said, I really only watched the first half, and the, f the first drive I saw the Saints play, now keep in mind, I did miss a few minutes of it, but the first drive I saw the Saints play, they went like right down the field and that click, 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 and then uh, they had a touchdown just like that, and then all of a sudden, the Ravens came back, and all I can say is the way they played today, it, it was kind of expected. It was kind of expected um, going into this game when you Baltimore would be a, a very tough challenge, a very hard team, because they are indeed very good. And I have, not, I have no bad things to say. I know a lot, a lot of Saints fans out there would come on here and say bad things about them, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to say anything bad about a good team like Baltimore. You know, they, they're a great football team. They have good quarterback. They have good running backs. And they have a very stout defense. So... But um, I watched basically the first half, and for some reason, just after watching that first half, it was I kind of had an inkling about what was going to happen. So instead of watching the second half, I did this. Check this video out. Hey guys, it's me, Billy. Um. As you see, I'm at Celebrity Theaters. I'm right here, and say hi, Cody and Jody. Hi. hi. What we're we going to do over here? Go see the movie. See the movie. Yep, we're gonna be good for the movie. Yeah. All right, tell everybody bye. Bye. And the movie we ended up going to see was Tangled. And then what happened was we got back into the truck. I pumped up the radio to, and it, it was kind of like maybe good timing, maybe on my part, where they were playing the actual highlights. They went to the the first half highlights, went through that, and then I, I was very patiently listening for the second half highlights, and I didn't really anticipate the Saints to come back, and tie everything up but Baltimore came through they kicked a couple of field goals and it was pretty much over this, uh, the Saints lost today and like I said I'm, I don't have anything bad to say about the Baltimore Raven team they are indeed a very a good team so I just want to get that out there in case anybody wants to leave me a hate comment for posting up my reactions to the Saints but you know, like a, in a perfect world for Saints fans, they would be 16 and 0 with a first round bye and home field advantage throughout the playoffs. It's kind of like what it was last year when they were 13 and 3. But like I said, it's not a perfect world. You know, it would be great to have that. It would be great to have that first place advantage all over again. But there's a difference between wanting it and getting it. There's still quite a bunch of football left to be played before the playoffs. Considered, even if the Saints don't win their division, I think with the record they have right now, I think they're a shoe in for the NFC wild card slot. But that's just me thinking off the top of my head. I'm, I haven't really checked all the stats of, of all the teams that have played today or the teams that will play tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure who's playing tomorrow. But like I said, you know, bravo to the Baltimore team. You know, the Saints tried today. They did make a comeback. But Baltimore was just a little bit better than the Saints today. You know, it, it hurts me to say that because I am a big Saints fan. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know that I'm very huge into the Saints. And I always wish for them to win their games and, and be the best and 
do what needs to be done to get back to the Super Bowl because last year was just an amazing year. And that's one, of, that's one regret that I do have, guys, that I didn't start – that I started, even though I, you know it's been great and doing the videos on here and everything, I wish I would have done it. Started doing it last year. Started doing it last year because you know it was a great year for the Saints, and they went to the Super Bowl and everything like that. But you know, be that as it may, you know this is 2010. You know, now the Saints are 10 and 4. If I'm th thinking that right. I'm thinking that right, but you know they still have a legitimate shot. Again, they still have a legitimate shot to get into the playoffs. So all is not lost, you know. But they need to do something about their, you know, Baltimore again was just, you know, they're a good team. I'm not gonna diss Baltimore for being a good team and playing good football. I mean, it was a